You know, at first I wasn't all that comfortable with you using Cedars as a political platform, but I have to admit you were really good for the patients in that ward. All I did was listen. People in chronic care don't, don't get nearly enough of that. I know. I know, and if I'm elected, I really want to work on improving health care funding for people like them. Sounds suspiciously like the beginning of a campaign speech. <laughs> no. Uh, Ed, look, I don't blame you for having reservations about me. Not you. You in this particular office. Okay. Okay, well, whether I'm Springfield's next mayor or not, I would like the hospital to have this. I was going to drop it off at your office on my way out, but I guess now's as good a time as any. Oh, wow. I'd like it to go toward the patients in the chronic care ward, and I want it to be a gift in Robbie's name. Would you be trying to buy my vote now, would you? Is it for sale? <laughs> Like, I know we've had our differences about you running for mayor, but I've always known that your heart is in the right place. This will be put to very good use. Thank you, man. Great. You're welcome. Take care. I'll see you later. <clears throat> hey, what the heck are you doing? Uh, making a donation to the hospital. A good thing to do. Well, Last it's a I great heard. thing to do, Danny, but it's even better when our camera's around. You know what I'm talking about? Want to be the next mayor of this town? That's the plan, Bill. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. What do you, hey, there are no cell phones in the hospital. Come on. All right. What do you uh, all right. Well, look, I Bill. really wish you wore a tie today, you know? Bill. Look, I'm going to get a news team down here. You and I can do that whole donation transaction again and uh, get it. I can't even get an outside line here. What's going on? Hey. What are you doing? I'm hanging up the phone. What do you think I'm doing? Danny, you just Bill. gave a five-figure donation. Don't you think right. that's worth a little news? The blur? question is, do we settle for a handshake in the tabloids, or do we do this the way I planned? Which is, the hospital cashes my check, then my campaign manager leaks word about my donation to all the local people, not just the second string tabloids. You are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But remember, I never expected this to be made public. What's your name? Oh. Hi, Bill. Hey. Um, I hope you guys have a couple of minutes to discuss campaign because, uh, I don't feel comfortable the way we left things the other day after that meeting with Daggard and Hodge. Do they have the political kingmakers? They're kingmakers, and they got Danny's back 100%, so... Um, I'm quite sure that they will back him, yes, but... Uh, to be honest, Bill, you have never run a campaign, and obviously, Danny, you've never been in one, mm -hmm. and you could uh, make a lot of promises to guys just like Daggard and Hodge, and if you're fortunate enough to win the election, you'd have to make good on that. All right, so what are you saying, Ross? I'm just trying to point out that that's just one of many traps you might fall into. That's right. That's why we need you. So that's it doesn't right. happen. Yeah, so are you with us, Counselor? Mm -hmm. Danny, I know that you want what's best for Springfield, but that wonderful sentiment could get you mixed up in deals that look good at the time, but a little while later, they're not so good, and you're haunted by them. I, I mean, are you suggesting that I would use some of my old contacts to get myself elected? No, not at all. Uh, Ross, I get the feeling you're not here to back up our next mayor of Springfield. So why are you here? Uh, Ross, I just hope you're willing to work with us. Uh, I mean, we need you. You've been down this road before, and we can only benefit from your experience. Yes, that's partly why I'm here. Oh. That's great, yeah. Well, please, hear me out. I have been through several campaigns. And I finally decided, today in fact, that my experience should be put to good use. Not counseling you, but trying to help this city work. I've decided to run for mayor. What the hell are you talking about? I thought I owed it to you, Danny, to tell you first. Mr. Claus is definitely coming to town. All right, sweetie. Uh, I'm going to talk to you later. Oh, right. no! Your kids, too? Yeah. Bobby can't stop crying. But you know what? Danny's got it covered. I sent him on a mission to save Christmas. Hey, what about saving Christmas? You better worry about saving whoever put out this no Santa garbage. Because when I get my hands on them... No, it might take a miracle to get Father Ray to perform your wedding tonight. Because he's in high demand at the church and he's getting ready to go to Rome. So I hope you guys have a backup plan. 
A backup plan? We don't have a plan. <laughs> well, we'll think of something. Well, it's all right. We can just, you know, marry ourselves. <laughs> it almost worked last time. <laughs> but thank you, Michelle, for coming by and letting us know. Well, and actually, there's something else. I haven't had a chance to speak to you guys since Danny told me that, that uh, you're running against him. You what? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, Michelle, that's, that's perfectly all right, because uh, the whole town will know pretty soon. More or less than there. Isn't exciting? Well, it certainly explains small, simple, soon. But no, of course it's exciting, and I wish you the best, uh, Ross. That's thank you. great. And you. Both of you. Everybody. <laughs> I wish everybody who's running the best. I'm, I'm sure you're all in it for the best of intentions. And me too, me too. And, and I just wanted to wish us both a great campaign and, and no hard feelings. Michelle, you know how much I care about you and Danny. There's nothing personal about this in any way. Uh, and no more talk about politics tonight. Because tonight is Christmas Eve. I've got a redhead to marry, and I still have to find my best man. Well, then, you know what? You better go do that, Ross, because we have uh, some dress issues oh. we need to work out. It uh, could get ugly. Mara sent over about a dozen dresses to choose from. Yeah. So, out you go. Yes. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, no. Right? What? Oh. Oh, yes. Did I say triplets? I meant uh, quadruplets. Brothers. Excuse us for just one moment, please. Uh, uh, what, 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 what are we doing? Planning. We start a barbershop court. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come here. How, how, how did I get myself in this spot? I don't know. I don't know, Rick, but this is not good. I mean, first, the kids are told there is no Santa, now there's five of them. How do we make this better? I don't know. I'm itching. These kids are going to need therapy. Uh, well, at least Ross and Blake are going to get some nice wedding photos out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Robbie. I think he believes in Santa again. Hey, which Santa is that? Is that Rick? I'm right here. It's gotta be. Oh, it's, it's Buzz. It's Buzz. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Outside oh, Toro. What? No. I'm right here. Well, then who is that? Maybe it's Alan. Or Josh? Look what I got, Mommy. Okay, you wanna open it? Wow. Wow. That's the car that you wanted. That's great. It gave you that. Oh, hello there, hello. little boy. Hello. <laughs> What'd you call me? Kathy, how did you know? Aww. I know. You just knew? So, um, you gave him his big present early? I didn't give it to him. Yeah. Well, if you didn't give it to him, who did? Santa. So, you, you know this isn't Santa? You know this is Edmund? Honey, you knew that this was Gus all along? How did you know? Mm-hmm. 